If you've never had to do it, and even if you have, the idea of producing a semen sample might seem a little nerve-wracking, especially in an unfamiliar environment. But we want you to be as comfortable as you can be, so we made this video about the collection process and what the lab does with your sample. When you come to New England Fertility for your semen analysis, you'll meet with an andrologist, and here we have our andrologist, Andrew. You'll sign some paperwork, you'll receive instructions, and you'll get the cup for your sample, and then it's time to head to the collection room. And no, you don't have to fill this cup. The average ejaculation is only about a teaspoon, and we don't even need that much, and we'll explain why later. Now that we're at the collection room, there's just a few house rules you need to know. First, if you're with a partner at your appointment, only one person is allowed in the collection room at a time. Second, if you want to watch a video to, you know, help things along, there's a tablet in the room, or you could just watch what you want on your phone. And yes, we have Wi-Fi. And finally, because it can interfere with the integrity of your sample, we have to ask that you don't use any lubricants. When you're done, bring the cup back to your meeting room. The andrologist will pick it up and whisk it away to the lab where everything's going to be carefully scanned and barcoded. Next, your semen sample is put in an incubator for just a few minutes so it liquefies. And then we use a pipette to measure the volume of your sample. Next, we put drops of the sample on slides to check out the morphology of your sperm, and we'll explain what that is in a minute. And we put another drop of your sample in a chamber that goes under the microscope, and that's what gives us the detailed view of how many sperm you have, as well as how healthy they are. Here's what it looks like for the most part. The microscope actually provides a more detailed view than this, but what you see on the monitor here gives you a pretty good idea of what it looks like. The health of your sperm is based on a few things. One of them is motility. We look at the speed that your sperm is moving at and whether they're going in a direction. And what you see here would be considered a normal sample. Most of the sperm are moving and clearly moving in a direction. It's important to note that it's perfectly normal to have some sperm with lower motility. And this is an example of what that looks like. Now it's time to do the sperm count. Given that the average sperm count is more than 15 million per milliliter, we can't possibly count every single one. The view under the microscope is divided into a 10 by 10 grid, and we look at two rows on the grid, and we count all the sperm in those rows, and how many are modal versus non-modal. If your sperm count is below average, here's something you need to keep in mind. Most of the fertilization at our clinic is done by injecting a single healthy sperm into the center of the egg. That process is called intracytoplasmic sperm injection, or ICSI. With ICSI, you can become a biological parent even if you only have a small amount of healthy sperm. Something else we look at is the morphology of your sperm. Remember those slides from earlier? We stain them so that we can get a better view of the shape of your sperm, specifically to see if the head, neck, and tail are normal. And that's it for the analysis part. Once that's done, the doctor will review the findings and discuss them with you. And then it's time to prepare your sperm for freezing until it's time for fertilization. Of course, you don't just put sperm straight into the freezer. We add a small amount of cryoprotectin to keep the sperm from dying when it's frozen and then we put it in the fridge for a few minutes to start cooling. We freeze your sperm in small tubes that are securely placed in a holder, which is called a cane, and the cane is carefully labeled with your patient ID code and your name. And now it's just about time to freeze. In a bucket called a dewer, we prepare liquid nitrogen, which will freeze the sperm at around minus 200 degrees Celsius, and at temperatures that cold, and with the cryoprotectant we added, you can freeze sperm almost indefinitely and not worry about it. The rest of the process is simple. We place your cane in the dewer, which then goes into a tank until it's time to thaw for fertilization. So that's it in a nutshell, or a sperm cell if you prefer. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, check us out at anyfertility.com and send us a message.